Man, I gotta say, it feels so nice in this room now that the spray foam is done. Uh, it's negative 20 degrees outside. We had wind chills as low as 60 degrees over the last couple days. And I've been checking this room in relation to the rest of my house and using my thermal imager to see how it was doing. And these walls were staying in the mid 60 degrees consistently throughout versus the rest of my house. I found spots in the old walls that were down in the 20s, the 20s. That right there tells me that this is the right decision. I know spray foam, there's a lot of negative that surrounds spray foam and people think it's bad and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, it can be done improperly. You can use uh, inferior product. This is a really good product. It's uh, no off gassing and you can do six inches in one spray. So you don't have to worry about making sure you layer it properly so you don't get that off gas. So I'm really happy with the spray foam and now I can work in here in comfort and not feel like I'm just spending money, losing energy. So today's project is gonna be the toilet. I'm gonna move the toilet location, my wife and kids, and really me, never really liked the location, sitting in front of the window. It just didn't make sense. The first thing you saw when you came in the bathroom door was the toilet. So we're gonna move that. I'm gonna cap off the copper, the PVC, for both the water line and the sewer, and then try to find a new location for it. I have an idea where I wanna put it. Now, over the last couple weeks, because it has been a while, we've decided that I think I'm going to remove this wall. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it out. They're gonna put a header up here, and that's my staircase. And I think we're gonna take this away from being a spare bedroom to probably an office, a loft, maybe a reading nook, I don't know, whatever. It will become somewhat a public space which means we're gonna take the back here, the door to the bathroom that goes into my hallway, we're gonna close that off and we're going to open up a new doorway from this room into the bathroom. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's gonna be a great change. Uh, it obviously adds more work to this job that I didn't know uh, going into that I was gonna be doing, but uh, it'll all be good in the end hopefully. So let's get to work. All right, during the demo process, I went ahead when I took the toilet out and I shoved a rag in it. And honestly, that probably wasn't the best idea because I can smell a little bit of the sewer coming out of this pipe when I get real close. So definitely excited to get this taken care of. Now, I could cut all this up to work on this, but I'm gonna go downstairs. Right underneath this is a closet and I've got a soffit that I can access these pipes. So I'm gonna go down there and do the work from down there. Uh, that way I don't have to tear up all this flooring. and I've, already got the soffit cut open, so I just made the decision to do that. All right, this is a super cramped area. This is a little closet. The toilet is right up here, you can see. And this is a little soffit. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is quite embarrassing, about probably 10 years ago, so very shortly after um, we moved into the house, the remodel was done, um, there was a leak. So I cut this open, I took care of it, and I just, in the back of my head, it's kind of like all the window trim in my house, I knew we were gonna redo this. This closet was gonna probably get redone somewhat, tore up, whatever, because um, a lot of stuff was just patched quickly so that we could get moved in, and so I never actually fix this. So I guess uh, that's a good thing because now I'm here taking this toilet out. It's one of those things, out of sight, out of mind, we don't really come in this closet very often. So first thing I gotta do is I'm going to cut this vent stack above the elbow. That way I won't get anything um, coming down or coming from the pipe. So that'll help keep things nice and clean. Okay, here we go. Make sure there's nothing in the backside I'm going to hit as I exit my cut. Clean cut. I'm gonna clean up this edge. I should have gloves on. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Get some glue. Don't tell my wife I'm using one of her. All right, well that wasn't too bad. Um, I feel good about having that done. And I know it's sealed off and we're all good. So now what I gotta do is I gotta cut the copper line. I'm gonna shut my water off, cap that as well, and then this part of the project is done. Can you hear the, 
the pressure, the vacuum releasing, and I got valves open throughout the house, so hopefully they all drain versus it coming out right here. A little bit of water. All right, a little bit more than I thought. It's gonna set that right there. Now, whenever doing any copper work, little trick, I can't remember the first place I saw it. I think it was this old house. Take some bread, ball it up, shove it in your pipe. You might be asking why? Well, the bread will dissolve over time and it will stop the water from coming out and getting in your uh, in your sweat joint when you start sweating it, which is always a problem. Get a little bit of flux on that pipe. I'll put some in my cap. Let's cap that. Always like to be safe than sorry. Make sure you got enough on there. And I think we're good to go. All right, that was actually fairly easy. The only problem is I knocked over my primer for my PVC and it smells horrible. I got it cleaned up the best I could. So uh, I'm just gonna leave this room closed up for now. Maybe crack the window, kind of is what it is, but oh my God, be careful when working with the primer. It smells bad and it does stain a little bit. This is the original wood floor in the house. I actually pulled it up out of one of my other rooms and laid it in here. It never was even sanded or finished. So I guess I'll know what I'll be doing when I'm done because you can see, you can see what it's kind of done. The primers in the grooves. It's got a little bit of a purple tinge. That stuff is nasty. I wish I had the clear primer now. But the good news is we've got copper pipe soldered, taken care of. That was the soil pipe for the toilet. Got that capped off. I decided to do it on the rise after um, this little 90 instead of here in the flat just because I didn't want any garbage that potentially was in the pipe coming out. So I don't think it's a big deal. No big deal. All right, that should be pretty easy there. That's pretty gross. This one, this one might require a little bit of work. Got a fitting. Well, look at that. And my bread is still there. That's what was keeping my water from coming out. Now, this wall right here is the wall that separated the bedroom to the bathroom. And if you look back here, there was a door that came into the bathroom and the door that comes into this bedroom. What we're gonna do is make this place a public room, which means we're actually gonna remove the door from the hallway into the bathroom and I'm gonna frame in a new doorway here. It does mean I got a little bit of electrical work to do. And one of the main reasons we're gonna go ahead and switch this up and put a door here into this bathroom is to close this door off right here so that we can put probably the stool right here, the toilet. That way when you come in, the door is gonna open, it's gonna close off the toilet if somebody were to be sitting there. And um, I think it's gonna work out a lot better with the flow. All of my, my vent stack and everything is right here in this little wall. So that's gonna get me really close to my vent and my sewer pipe is right there. So it should be pretty easy. I still gotta do some digging to see if it's gonna work out though. All right, so I'm just gonna start working on this door and uh, of course, I pulled out this laser. This is a Bosch uh, combination, you know, cross line laser. I figured I'll just set it up and I'll use it to check my plumb on my door jams. But then there's this horizontal line that it's kicking out perfectly level. And I thought, well, might as well check the floor. I'll see how it measures around the bathroom, you know, just because when you start putting in tiled showers and everything else, 
you want it to look obviously, you want it to look good, you want it to be close. And then now that I'm putting the doorway in between the wall instead of using the original doorway, um, I shouldn't have done it. It's about an inch off. So now I'm gonna have to probably, I'm probably gonna tear the rest of this floor out. I'm not really, I'm not really looking forward to it guys, but I think it has to be done because my OCD is gonna get the best of me or something like that. I don't think I'll be able to live with it. Well, that escalated pretty quickly. Um, wasn't really planning on tearing up that subfloor, having to sift through these floor joists, but that's what I'm gonna do. Not just because I wanna create good content, but because in good conscience, 12 years ago, I did a lot of exactly what I'm not gonna do this time around, and that is cover things up, live with an acceptable one inch slope in your floor. Give me a break, what was I thinking? I don't know. Probably just thought it wasn't gonna matter. Well. It matters, I can't stand it. I don't like it when my trim isn't going straight, when my tile isn't going straight, when I got gaps in places uh, because I just can't make up the difference, you know? I always say a good carpenter can hide their mistakes um, and also a good carpenter can hide other people's mistakes. However, this is just something that I think is worthy of taking the extra day. You know, it took me a day of messing around at my house to tear this all up. I gotta get a bunch of material because I don't have the lumber here to sister these floor joists, so I'll have to do that, which is gonna delay the remodel. Um, I could have, you know, could have got this wall framed in for a door today, maybe close this door off, and I'd be sitting pretty good um, to, you know, get really close to start maybe closing, closing the bathroom side up. However, it's not gonna happen, not today, so. It is what it is. We'll just, we'll come back at it another day. So, um, demo continues. Thought it was over.